Put your hands together for Jesus. Somebody shout glory. glory. Yes, the disciple says, if Peter can come, then Dokas will not be buried. For Dokas to die does not mean destiny ended. Without any waste of time, I want to leave this platform by welcoming the man of God prophet, Allen Gospel. Hallelujah. Please, can we take our seats? We give you the praise and the glory. Lord, I pray that you visit this quarter today. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I want to quickly appreciate the man of God, Senior Prophet Boris. For the opportunity for me to be here. And I want to tell him that I'm not going to take it for granted. Please just jam your hands together for him. Okay. Exodus chapter 3 verse 6. Exodus chapter 3 verse 6. I read in the spirit of the Lord. Moreover, he said, I am the God of thy father. I am the God. God of thy fathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, and the God of Jacob. And Moses hid his face, and Moses hid his face, for he was afraid to look upon God. Thank you. God bless you, man of God. Hallelujah. How many of you know the story of Moses? The Bible says there was a time after he ran away from Egypt and had an encounter at Mount Sinai. And this encounter, he saw a bush that was burning. He saw, a f he saw flame in the bush, but the bush was not burning. And he heard a voice that called him Moses. And he said, who are you? He says, I am the God of your father. I am the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. In other words, Moses, I did not appear to you because you know me. Moses, I did not appear to you because you prayed. Moses, I did not appear to you because you fasted. In fact, Moses, I appear to you because of your fathers. If your life. Is not going the way it has to go. Verify the God of your father. You went to the embassy. To, for visa. Three times. Everything was qualified. But. But. You were denied visa. I am the God of your father. You were not denied visa because something was lacking. 
but because I am the God of your father. Your trouble is not your trouble. Your trouble came from the God of your father. I am 35 years and man of God, all the men that comes to me, they don't last. Check the God of your father. Who is the God of your father? I'll be preaching tonight on what I entitle. Who is the God of your father? I want you to pay attention to what I'm saying because I preach with a lot of power. Who is the God of your father? You have done everything you can. But it's as if your life is not advancing. Sister, you are innocent. You did nothing. There is a God. Moses, I came to you because I am the God of your father. You don't know that I'm existing. But Moses, I am there. You don't know that they are there, but they are there. If I can explain to you the effects of the God of the father of Moses. The Bible says Moses was the son of Pharaoh. But because of the God of the father of Moses, Moses lost his place in the palace. The God of the father of Moses was calling Moses to leave the palace. You have had a job and suddenly someone, suddenly something happened and you are fired. The God of your father. <laughs> You've gone abroad and suddenly you are repatriated without anything. Check the person calling you. There is a God of your father that is somewhere that is calling your name. Moses, Moses, when you find yourself before an opportunity, Moses, Moses, a man comes to marry you. Moses, Moses, there is a job before you. Moses, Moses, I came as a prophet tonight. Every God of your father will be arrested in the name of Jesus. And why will you still be preaching? There's some powers that will be arrested here. A man very gentle in character suddenly became a killer. Moses killed and buried, single handedly buried somebody. A man that didn't have that kind of heart. And suddenly you are there complaining. Oh, my husband was not like this. I don't know why my husband has suddenly changed. The God of his father has influenced his character. But I stand to prophesy there's going to be a restoration. Your wife was not like that. And suddenly she changed. The God of our father. A man that had very calm, calm character. You are wondering why your business is not progressing. <laughs> the God of your father. There is a voice that keeps calling your name. Each time you rise, you fall. There is a voice that keeps calling your name. Each time you are closer to success, something happens and it crumbles. You started the house in the village and the voice starts calling your name. Since from then, your business crumbles. Who is the God of your father? Sometimes the God of your father has brought you to a place where there is no escape. There is a Red Sea before you. That is why no matter how hard you walk, it's as if you are not working any money. 
January to December, there is nothing to show because there is a God of your father. But I came tonight to present to you the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. The, he's going to silence the voice of the your fathers. The fact that you are a Christian, but you realize that your life is still dominated by certain powers. You have, you have prayed, you have fasted. Some of you, right in your fasting, that is when you are attacked. There are some of you here, when they gave birth to you, they planted plantain on your placenta. What were they saying? They were saying from birth, your life should resemble planting. The God, listen, some of our fathers were too ignorant. Listen, that's why Africans we are suffering. Because from birth, the devil begin to, to program how your future is going to look like. The day they gave birth to you, you don't know the person that carry you. Maybe it was a witch and she carry you and say never to marry in this life. A, a lady, there was a lady when they gave birth to her. The, 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 the grandmother was the one that bit her. When she finished to bait her, she took the water and put in calabash and Put another calabash on top. And when the lady grew, as I'm talking to you, the lady didn't get married. But one day she happened to be in a service like this. I come to prophesy. Whatever the hold you captive, God will set you free in the name of Jesus. Most of the people killing you are the people that are just beside you. A lady told the father, Father, I've seen a manager that wants to get married to me. And the man said, over my dead body, you will not marry. And the lady was like, Father, what did you mean? She said, he said, you will not marry because spiritually I've decided that you are my wife. And the marriage was to be on Saturday. And the lady went to see the pastor. I said, Pastor, my father said, over his dead body, I will not marry. That he will not be in that meeting. And the pastor said, he, you, he is correct. Because he will not be in that meeting. Anybody that does not want you to see you progress in life, I declare and I decree, today is the last day. And the lady brought the invitation to the father and said, Papa, this is my invitation. And the father said, I told you, over my dead body will you marry. And the, the lady looked at the father and said, Papa, that means you have to die. And let me announce to you, let me announce to you, in the night, breaking Friday, breaking Saturday, midnight, something happened and the father died. Because the, listen, because the Bible says, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. I prophesy over your head, they shall die and let you rest. Take your seat. They will die and let you rest. A pastor said to me, a pastor said one day, why do you people play fire, 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 fire? That thing doesn't exist. I said, okay, no problem. No problem. You have the choice to choose what you believe. And one day, he went to baptize. <laughs> he went to baptize one of the members, a pregnant woman. As she put the woman in the water and said, in the name of the father's son, the woman disappeared. They came and arrested him, took him to cell. While he was still in cell, he said, man of God, I don't understand. That your fire, fire, thing. how what do you people usually do it? We say, shout, Holy Ghost, fire. And he began to pray. Tonight, as we begin to pray, something will happen. He began to pray, as he was praying, something happened. The pregnant woman, three days in the water, came out and she was alive. When we started church, there was a native doctor behind our, our church. People would come and pass the church and go there. People would come and pack cars and go there. One day I gathered the church. Huh. Pastor Kelly, you know the issue? 
I said we cannot be here and there is a witch that is behind us. What kind of Christianity do you want to do in these days? A witch is holding you and you're there. Nah, you know, I'm a child of God. Without wrestling against flesh and blood, without wrestling against principalities and power, you don't know the scripture. Jesus said, from the day of John the Baptist, the kingdom of God suffered a violent and the violent take at it by force. You don't know the scripture. And I gather the church and say, we will pray. The Bible says, suffer not the wish to live. And we began to pray. We put seven days prayer. Number three days. Something happened. And the man died. We didn't kill him. The wife saw the member of the church and said, your pastor killed my husband. We did not touch him. We are not going to touch anybody. But there is a God in heaven. The Bible says, vengeance belong to the Lord. Vengeance belong to the Lord. They have touched your children and they thought you would die. They thought because you are poor, they went and collected your land. But I came to announce to you, vengeance belong to the Lord. They took your husband and they said you can do nothing about that. I came to tell you, vengeance belong to the Lord. He said, hold your peace and I will fight your battle. That is why he has come to fight. Sit down. God help us. There are three, there are three ways, three things that give access to the God of your father in your life. Number one, covenant, Exodus chapter 2 verse 24. Please don't read because of time, man of God. Exodus chapter 2 verse 24. There are certain covenants that some of your fathers had. There are certain covenants in your life. As long as they are there, demons will have access to you. Whether your own came from where, we don't care to know. But one thing is certain. The Bible says even the captive of the mighty will be set free. I say even the captive of the mighty will be set free. Any demonic covenant over you, let it catch fire in the name of Jesus. You were there in the village when your father used to use palm wine and pour on the ground. I was talking. And you thought your father was talking to, to he was just talking to the ground. He was talking to an entity. And he was telling that entity, after me, let my son take over. And today, you have gone to school. And yet, there is no good job. Why? That entity in the village want you to come and resume where your father ended. But I come to prophesy. Listen to me. Even the cap of the mighty will be set free tonight. Amen. Number two, altars. Altars are where sacrifices are made. Altars are where, let me, man of God, let's read that one. Psalms. Psalms 106 verse 37. So that these people will understand what I'm saying. 106 verse 37. Yes. Yeah. They sacrifice their sons and their daughters unto the devils. They sacrifice their sons and their daughters unto the devil. They sacrifice their sons. This thing didn't start now, brother. Altars are fighting you, but yet you have no altar. You have no altar speaking on you. You have no altar speaking on your behalf. You are doing business, investing without an altar. Those people in the world, they don't do business like that. Anything that is not backed by a spirit will fail in this physical world. That is why you don't have to play with altars. Any demonic altar in your life, let them catch fire in the name of Jesus. The last one, foundation. Psalms 11 verse 3. The Bible says, if the foundation is destroyed, what can the righteous do? Brother, you have started that business. You took money from the meeting. 
you invest in that business and that business is having problem. You don't know where that money is coming from. You don't know where they took money and brought into that meeting and give you. You took money from a bank and that business is coming down. You don't know what's going on. The foundation is faulty. And the Bible says, if the foundation is destroyed, what can the righteous do? You fast and pray nothing. Some of you, you are looking for children. You went somewhere. Your parents were looking for a child. They went somewhere in one bush, in one village. And they took the, the, the man walked on your father and your mother. And later your mother conceived. Let me tell you, you have grown. But you discover, you have, you have, you have fasted. You have prayed. But yet the devil is still after you. Check your foundation. Because if the foundation is destroyed, what can the righteous do? I want to end. The last one is your name. Your name. What is the meaning of your name? And where did it come from? Your name can make the God of your father have access to you. Because why? They know the name. You give somebody's name. You want to see that the person begin to resemble the, the, your child begin to resemble the person. That's why you cannot be faithful to your husband. Because the person who named you married three times. And you are there, you're happy, eh? Daddy, don't name the picking. Daddy, don't name the picking. But you don't see the thing will go follow that picking because of that name. Rise over your feet. Something is going to happen. Tell God. Under this anointing, enough is enough. That's the only prayer you are going to pray. And the Holy Ghost will take.